This is Dan Farisi, editor of Sound and Communications Magazine, joined by Sandy Stambaugh, Vice President of Product Marketing with Cinex. Thanks so much for joining me, Sandy. I really appreciate you taking the time. Of course. Nice to see you, Dan. Hope you're doing well. I am, yes. And I hope you as well, all your colleagues and family. Uh, it goes without saying, in this crisis, we all want to uh, take care of our commercial AV family. So I hope everyone is okay. Yes. Yeah. So far, every, everyone's doing pretty well. So good. Uh, definitely, definitely interesting times, but, um, but so far, everyone's healthy and doing well. So thank you. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so my first question for you is, um, Cenex is obviously a very big organization, a lot of employees, a lot of associates. California, where you're based, is under, I think, a shelter-in-place order, at least parts of California are. Mm -hmm. So how is the workforce coping with that? Is everyone working from home? Are there some people who are not? Organizationally, how has it affected your operation? Yeah, so um, actually our corporate headquarters is in Fremont, California. Our sales and marketing headquarters is actually in Greenville, South Carolina, where I am. Um, you can tell because of the accident. But um, so we've actually got, um, we've got a number of associates all over um, both U.S. and Canada. And so um, certainly, um, you know, we've been um, keeping up with all of the, the shelters in place and the work from home and, um, you know, those sort of mandates that, that have been issued, um, you know, Cenex, that obviously the, the health and safety of our employees, um, our, our vendors, and, and also our customers is at the utmost of importance for us. Um, our team has been working um, almost primarily from home for about three or four weeks now. Um, so we, you know, as you can probably imagine, we sell a lot of collaboration technology um, just in, you know, within our organization. And so we were actually in a pretty good position to move, uh, you know, to working from home pretty immediately. Um, we still have thousands of associates uh, supporting our warehouses and our um, integration facilities and, you know, handling some of the operations of our organization. Then those folks are still going in. And um, as you can imagine, um, but we've taken a lot of precaution on making sure that they're they're safe and um, and that they're you know healthy and and um, that they're protected in that environment as well. So yeah, it's it's been um it's been an interesting time of of transition. So your clients, your partners, your customers, people who depend on Cinex for services, your warehouses and so forth, has there been any diminution in your ability to serve your customers, or have you been able really to evolve in such a way that um, things are more or less operating as usual from the client or the customer side. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what, um, Cenex, the Cenex associates are just, uh, we call it the can-do attitude. So the culture of Cenex is, you know, we kind of take whatever's thrown at us and, and move quickly to make sure that um, we're putting our customer first and that we're always there to support them. Um, and this really, this environment has just, um, you know, it's been really encouraging and really just inspiring, um, even being a part of the organization, um, seeing my coworkers and the other, you know, six associates and the way that they've responded um, to put our customers first. And so, no, I mean, our, our warehouses continue to be open. Um, you know, we're, we're fully functional. So we have continued to support our customers um, during this time. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, we've got, you know, over a thousand, you know, folks in our, in our warehouses and um, in our integration facilities across the U.S. and Canada there to support our customers. Um, you know, there's been a, a, a number of, you know, Zoom sightings all over LinkedIn and Facebook and, and you know, all over just our sales reps. Um, you know, uh, working from home, you know, um, partnering with our customers, they're utilizing our tools, right? So um, LinkedIn, I'm sorry, not LinkedIn, but um, Teams, um, and they're also using, um, you know, uh, Life Size and um, Google Meet and, you know, a lot of different methods to, to stay in touch. WebEx is another one. So we sell a lot of this technology and uh, it's being utilized today by our, by our full sales organization. And, you know, I've been on so many um, vendor meetings and, you know, um, customer meetings, just making sure that we're doing everything that we can and, you know, to support them and that we're not seeing any drop off. Um, so, yeah, so that, that's continued. Um, you know, we've also done some things around um, just communication with our teams, right, with our, with our customers and with our vendor partners and helping our customers navigate this and, you know, understanding um, more so what businesses are essential and which ones are not. How can we help them within their business Stay focused on, you know, where they can sell and where they can continue to, you know, to drive business, um, you know, where they can deliver product, what regions are open. Everything is changing so quickly 
um, that the communication in itself is just something that we're, we're, we're really trying to step in quickly and provide value to our customers. Um, another area would be like the freight companies, right? So that's changing constantly as, you know, cities and states are, are shutting down and some companies are deemed essential and some are not. And so they are able to deliver in some cases and in other cases, they're not. And so um, there's a lot of that activity taking place as well, just to help our customers, um, you know, navigate this kind of crazy and ever-changing time. It's quite a complicated map to have to navigate. So I give Synex a lot of credit for, for trying to work through all of this. Yeah. Speaking of complicated to navigate, we'll talk about the government response in some respects. Um, we have the stimulus package, which was passed a couple of weeks ago. Obviously, a lot of complicated elements there, which businesses qualify, which businesses don't, to what extent they will, to what extent they will not. Um, has Synex looked into this at all to find out whether the Recovery Act, the recovery package might benefit you, your associates, your organization at all? Or are there any other financial mechanisms or financial strategies that you put in place to make sure this has a minimal impact on your partners, your customers, your affiliates, and your employees? Yeah. So, the, I mean, the financial side of this is is um, is challenging, right? So, um, in addition to doing things like anticipating um, shortages, right, with factories overseas as it moves from China to, you know, um, Taiwan to, you know, other countries, we've heard, you know, Mexico today, um, challenges there with um, just the supply chain and trying to stay ahead of it in support of our customers' pipeline of opportunities. There's also this phase of, you know, the, the financial, you know, wherewithal that either their customers are going to, to have, you know, being able to stretch out payments. And, you know, we're, we're extending a lot of um, a terms to our customers. Um, we're also, you know, um, in lines of credit. Um, we're working with our manufacturers to, to try to offer extended terms in a lot of cases. Um, and then we're also helping from it, um, you know, we, uh, we had already, you know, had a practice around subscription-based offering or as a service, everything as a service, um, consumption-based opportunities and things like that. And, and so we've actually doubled down in that area just to get um, our customers trained and comfortable with that type of a sale um, you know, as they've uncovered challenges with, you know, um, capital dollars, right, and trying to trying to still maintain that um, the, the the technology need that their end customer has, right, to solve these real business problems that were challenging um, that we're facing today, um, and, and being able to position, you know, a, a financial um, package to support them. And so, yeah, so we've we've definitely um, put a lot of that in place for our customers. Um, and, you know, in addition to things that you would expect, like the like extended terms and, you know, um, and that type of thing as well. So for my last question, I kind of want to draw on Cinex being a very well-respected member of the commercial AV industry, a member of the, the Infocom community. Mm -hmm. uh, and you yourself, Prev, wanted all the trade shows well-known around the industry. Are there any words of wisdom, words of advice, words of solace or comfort you would want to give your peers in commercial AV as we're struggling through a really unprecedented and difficult time, whether they're integrators, distributors, design engineers, consultants, um, any words of wisdom, words of advice that you might want to share either on your behalf personally or on behalf of Cinex? Yeah, I think that, um, I think the key is just, you know, um, gosh, it is, it's such a challenging time right now. And, you know, like I said, every single day and honestly, multiple times a day, you know, we're having new things thrown at us that we're having to navigate. And I think the key thing is just communication, right? So we have to stay connected with each other. We have to communicate um, when you're facing a challenge, when you're facing a problem, you know, having um, a partner and, and, you know, this isn't a pitch, but like Cinex, for instance, and leaning on us um, and, and bringing problems forward so that we can try to help you. Um, it's important. It's important, you know, and I think that that's important for um, our manufacturer partners. I think it's important for, you know, our, our um, resellers and integrators. Um, you know, we all have these, and they're, they are, they're real business problems that we're facing every single day, multiple times a day. And as long as we communicate um, amongst all of us, right, in this community, um, this family that, you know, I like to call it, um, then, then we can all jump in and help each other out. And, and that's what, um, you know, that's what we do every day. Um, that's what drives us. That's what drives us to, con you know, to keep, you know, pushing hard, even, you know, through some of these challenges that we've faced. Um, you know, and, and frankly, it's, it's how Cynix, you know, visual solve even was created was for challenges that customers brought forward and, and we were able to develop the support mechanism, you know, for them. So I would just say communication is so important. And so the more we 
um, lean on each other and, and communicate these challenges that we're having, um, the, the better we can um, utilize our infrastructure to help support our customers, right? And to help, help them overcome some of these obstacles. Absolutely. And I think communication is so important because I agree with you. We are a very familial industry, probably more than most industries are. We yeah. really care about each other. There's a lot of solidarity, even among competitors and things like that. There's a lot of solidarity. And I think that's to our industry's credit. Um, so maintaining that communication, maintaining that togetherness until we can once again be together physically, whether it's in Vegas or Orlando or wherever it is, I think it's really important to maintain that. Yeah, that's true. Well, thank you again, Sandy, for taking the time. We're really appreciative of it. We wish you and Synex, your partners and your employees all the best. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you back when we can uh, all be together again. Yes, I know we're looking forward to it also. So, this thanks. is Dan Parisi, Sound and Communications Magazine, joined by Sandy Stambaugh from Synex. Thank you very much.